eight businesses, nine burglaries, all in the city of Clinton. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marianne Manco. And I'm Vince Dementri. Police aren't sure if the break-ins are related, but they do have some similarities. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard is live in our newsroom. And Kimberly, what are police looking into? Suspects used a crowbar to break into the businesses. All in the same area of Clinton, three in the last week, six others in the last few months. They worked quickly in the wee hours of the morning, making off with cold hard cash. This lunchtime hotspot has been frying up favorites since 1920. Been around for a long time. Still owner Scott Williamson hasn't seen anything like this. I mean, they not only stole from me, but my family and, and all the employees and their families as well. More than $5,000 gone, and this is just one restaurant on the list. I think they're going in for one thing, and that's just the cash, and they, they're going to the obvious spots for it. Clinton Police Chief Michael Reedy says eight businesses have been targeted, most recently the Shack, Three Stars Restaurant, and El Rey's, which police say was hit up twice. One was at 3 o'clock in the morning, and one uh, this last one was at 5. The last one also had video, which police are using to track down their thief. They're also looking outside of Clinton, where other recent break-ins had a similar M.O. Macon County has had some recent break-ins. The city of Lincoln uh, has had some break-ins, where they had nine of their businesses on their square broken into, which might correlate with the R square getting hit as well. As police piece together leads, they're asking business owners to be vigilant. Make sure you lock your doors, of course. And I think, you know, one of the things that uh, burglars don't like is light. And I guess the last one is a lot. We have not had any business that was hit that has an alarm system. Meanwhile, Williamson has made his own changes to make sure the shack doesn't become the new hotspot for burglaries. Not keeping as much money in the restaurant and, and, and getting the money to the bank secured as, 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 as soon as we can. And police would not release that video because of the investigation. They do have a description of their suspect. He's described as a white male, about 5'10 to 6 feet tall, wearing dark clothes, including a mask, gloves, and a hooded sweatshirt. Tonight, Clinton police need your help. If you have any information about these crimes, please call the Clinton Police Department or Crime Stoppers.